Hi everybody, wanted to talk to you a little bit about dogs and Halloween and uh, some concerns for your pet to make sure they're safe for the holiday. This is Jethro, this is Alicia's Jethro you've met before. Jethro is obviously very laid back and uh, he is dressed for the holiday and he does not uh, care if he's wearing this, especially if I got a treat, right Jethro? So we are going to talk a little bit about costumes first. First, costumes, they should be loose, but not so loose that they're tripping in them and maybe hurt, falling and hurting themselves. Other thing, we want to be really careful with things on their heads here, like Jethro has, to make sure that he doesn't have tight elastic that might interfere with breathing and airway. Uh, and you want to make sure that your dog, Jethro doesn't care, he's the most mellow dog in the world. Some dogs would find this really stressful. Remember, it's supposed to be fun for the holiday. So if they really hate it, don't make them wear them, at least past the pictures that you take. Um, going forward, speaking of dogs in costume, let's talk about taking dogs on, uh, with us on trick-or-treating with the kids. Some dogs, like Jethro, might be really okay with that, but other dogs could get really scared. All of the noise, the kids in costumes might be scary. Some kids don't have, you know, have dogs and don't know that they shouldn't run up to your dog and grab at them. For some dogs, this might be truly terrifying and may, it may make them defensive where they might growl or snap. Or also little children that run and scream can, in some dogs, stimulate prey drive so that they're going to try to run after them and knock them down and then uh, you have a visit with the attorney. So I, I think that the best rule in general is that dogs should be left at home and not take them with you when you're walking on the streets, especially if there's lots of kids out trick-or-treating. It's just safer for them that way. Um, let's talk about uh, if we don't take them trick-or-treating and you're at home and the kids are coming to the door, I think we also want to be careful. Some dogs are going to get totally scared by the doorbell ringing, by people banging on the doors, screaming at the doors, and some dogs may think that's great, but especially if they're big like Jethro or my guys, it might be scary to the children. It's best to find them a safe room in the house where it's away from the door and you can turn on TV or radio and make some loudness. So just like for the holidays, like the 4th of July, we want to keep them from getting frightened. The other thing that we want to worry about a little bit, if they're out and about and kids come to the door, we open the door, they may be tempted to go run after the kids out in the street and you could lose them to a car accident. So keep them in a safe room in the house, keep them, keep them so that they're not uh, tempted to go run after the children. Um, let's talk again a little bit about uh, trick-or-treating. Candy, I think everybody knows chocolate is potentially dangerous for dogs. Um, we want to try to keep those candies in, the wrappers that come with them, away from our pets so you don't end up seeing us for vomiting or diarrhea dogs or worse yet, obstructions of some kind. The other thing is, other than chocolate, artificial sweeteners like xylitol are very dangerous to dogs, can cause liver failure, very severe, and can be fatal to these guys. So uh, sugarless gums, candies with sugar substitute, really important to keep away from your pets. Uh, we do have pet safe treats. Alicia has one here that is made specifically for dogs. This one is maple flavored, and I'm sure you wouldn't want that. Oh, <laughs> but, oh he's such a good boy. So we're going to give that to him afterwards, I promise. Uh, but that's about all I have. Uh, please be safe with your guys. Enjoy your holiday. Have a great Halloween. And uh, please call us if you have any questions or if you have any concerns that happen after the holiday. Thank you.